This video series is going to serve as an introduction to making mods in Mountain Blade Warband using the module system. So this first video is just going to be about getting set up in order to use the module system. The first thing you need to do is get Python installed on your computer. Now if you go to this page here on Tailworld's forums, the ultimate introduction to modding, if you just search that on Google this should be the first result, but I'll put a link in the description. This will give you a lot of good information, it's a very good read, and part of that is that it will help you get Python set up if you do not already have it. So I'm not going to go over installing Python in this video because it's explained pretty well already and also you could just search in YouTube setting up Python or Python beginner tutorial. There will undoubtedly be countless tutorials out there explaining how you can do that so I'm not looking to do something that's already been done before. Instead I'd like to just get straight into the actual module system itself. Now the module system can be downloaded at this website here directly from Tailworlds. So if you google warband download you'll come to this, but I can probably just put the link to this in the description as well. The download is here, but before you download this I would actually recommend not getting it from here, but rather go to this page on the forums and get this sort of improved version. So this user has basically taken the module system and put in a bunch of tweaks and fixes to make it a little bit better. And I think it's definitely better to use this one. Uh, do note the date that this video was uploaded. You know, if you're looking at this tutorial a long time after it was made, maybe this is outdated. So if you go to this page, then you can just put your mouse over that and you can see in the bottom left it says module system 1166.zip so that means this is version 1.166 if you mouse over this and you see that it's a much later version than 1.166 then probably it's better to get a more recent version than this but if there isn't a more recent version available I would say get this if there is one probably have a look and see if this user has actually uploaded a new improved version as well. So to get this you know just click on one of these links, we'll take Nexus Mods and you can just click on files there and you're just looking to download this top one here. So download the file and put it wherever you want into whatever folder you'd like to keep it in. I'm just going to put it in the desktop then you just want to extract what's in there. So I'm just going to say extract here. Now we've got these two folders. The first one here, the module data one, I would suggest you do not really need to worry about. If you open that up, you can see it's only got a few files here. If for some reason you're going to want to be messing around with the skyboxes and the flora, then I suppose you have to do that through this. But if you have no interest in these, if you don't know what these are even talking about then don't worry about them. Most of modding will take place in this folder here. So this file at the top, this buildmodule.bat is one of the most important files. This is basically what creates the mod. To make your mod you're basically going to make changes to these Python files here and when you're done you're going to double click on that and that will generate the mod and you can actually play it. So we'll demonstrate this in a sec but first there is one important step you have to take before you double click on this. There is a file here called modulinfo.py so you need to find that file and open it up in some sort of text editor. I recommend Notepad++ but if you have your own preferred text editor then use that could also use a Python IDE like PyScriptor. I installed it but never really got into it. So I'm just going to go with Notepad. All module info does is tell the module system where to actually build the mod. So you'll want to find wherever Mountain Blade Warband is kept on your computer. In my case it's under Program Files x86. So the default directory here of C slash games Mountain Blade Warband, this is not correct for my computer. So I'm going to comment this out. 
any line starting with a hash is a comment that will be ignored when you run the program. This one here is the one that I want, except there is a small typo. It says programs files, but mine certainly isn't named that way. So this is the export directory I need. Program files x86, mounted blade warband, modules native. So find whatever it is on your computer and make sure you set this correctly. Right now this is set to native. So when we click, when we double click on buildmodule.bat, it is going to overwrite all of the text files inside this native folder. So actions.txt, conversation, blah, blah, blah. All these text files will be overwritten when we run this. Now, most likely you're not looking to make changes to native and then just keep it as native. Most likely you want to make a brand new mod. So what you can do is go into this modules folder and just copy and paste the native one. You need to copy and paste it because you need to have all of the files in there. Rename this to whatever you want the name of your mod to be. So let's say we just call it my mod. And then in here, we just change this from native to my mod. Simple as that. So now when we make changes and we run build module, that's where it's going to build it. So let's see what happens now when we double click on this. If you've done everything correctly, then you should get these results. So you get initializing and then it says exporting a bunch of things. If you've done something wrong, then you'll pretty easily know about it because it will print a million lines of errors on the screen. But if all goes well, then you get this. So processing has finished. We can just click anything and that goes away. So now we have built our mod, which in this case didn't really do anything because we have not made any changes whatsoever. So it just has native in here essentially. But now we can start to make changes and then when we run that, they will show up in here. So that's how we get the module system set up.